that everybody we meet, um, everybody we meet is a mirror to us, but we don't want to look it that way. And we don't see it that way because we don't understand that this per persona that, <laughs> that we have created is the fake version of ourselves, right? We don't understand that this is the fake version of ourselves. And that makes it really tricky. And this is also why it's so hard to change because we get comfortable in this role, right? So if I'm not myself when I am spending time with friends, family, when I'm dating or when I'm with my partner or my spouse, then how am I able to build that relationship, you may ask? And the answer is you're not really all right you're not really you're not building that relationship you're just hurting that relationship because again if you are not the full authentic real version of yourself you're gonna hold back okay you're gonna be you're not gonna be vulnerable you're not always gonna speak your truth you're not gonna uh, communicate when something feels wrong or you're gonna over communicate and cuss the other person out or really want to hurt the other person because you're hurt, right? So it's going to be that you are active, that you're actively, um, you passively, you can be passive aggressive or you can always be reactive or it can be another, <laughs> you, it can be another route also that you're never saying anything. So I want you to start paying attention to who you are being when you are in your relationships because there are so many people that go and spend time with people or their loved one, but then when they get home, they actually go and act their real self because either they don't feel comfortable being themselves around people, they haven't healed yet. It's so many different factors, right? Uh, so some people, then you, you may say, well, how can they put on their real self when they get home? Well, because they haven't healed enough and they don't feel comfortable enough and empowered enough and excited enough in their truth, right? So everybody else knows this, uh, this hurt version. And I guess really, and it's not only this, it's not only what I've been saying now that you're not comfortable or you're afraid or you don't think it's gonna work or you are worried what's gonna happen when you don't have this old version of you anymore. But it's also what are other people gonna say? This is a huge one and I know it's like, it's something that it just sounds like we talk about this a lot, but it really is. I mean, you'll be, shocked how many women tell me that they have a very difficult time going through life because they're always worried what other people are going to say and when they other when other people say something that they don't like they don't really know how to process that okay they don't really know how to process that so then you don't even want to put yourself in that situation <laughs> so that's another part so then you have that on top of it so you Maybe you've tried to be this new version of yourself, or you try to be this new version of yourself, and you're around family, and you act a certain way, and now you start hearing, oh, you're acting different, or oh, who do you think that you are? You think that you're better than us, or uh, you're living in the clouds. That doesn't work, right? So it can be all kinds of stuff that you are hearing, and that also, also makes you revert back to your old position, right? And now you put on the masks again, and now the whole process starts again, and although you're spending time with friends and family and your partner, spouse, whoever you're going out to date, it doesn't matter, colleagues, you are a suppressed version of yourself or a completely different persona that you have uh, developed. Now that is you. So when, we, when we're talking about the beauty of healing is when you finally allow yourself to heal, when in the healing process, what a lot of people don't understand, it's not just that, okay, it doesn't hurt anymore. It actually molds and shapes you into becoming the real version of yourself. Like it takes you to a certain degree, right? Then if you really want to amplify it and I mean, become the best version of yourself to the fullest and really start embodying uh, the masculine, the feminine energies. If you really want to figure out like what's unique about you and all those things, those are the things that I teach in my other program, Magical You. So they literally go hand in hand. After you've done Healing Academy, you're going to be like, hmm, I'm healed. Now I want to take it to the next level. So that's the thing that a lot of people overlook that when, when they're done healing, 
well not when they're done but when they're going through the healing process and make progress because we're never really done this is something that we have to continue to do for the rest of our lives if we're truly hurt but it just gets much easier and we can uh, we can catch ourselves when we are being uh, we're, when we are operating from um from a state that is not authentic right so it just gets easier over time but that's the thing too when we do start the healing process and when we make progress in the healing process now i'm not so worried about anymore what other people are going to say i'm not worried about how many people i'm going to lose like we let go of the attachment right so that's the beauty of healing that i want to talk about today that when you do allow yourself to heal when you get on this journey right now it's not important what people say anymore now it's not important what people do anymore now it's not important to to overanalyze who I am, what I do, what I say, what I think, right? We stop questioning ourselves because when we are questioning ourselves and overanalyzing things, that means that we are attaching ourselves to the person that we have created that has been evolved as a result of all of our hurt. 